Hello class, welcome to a new lesson. This lesson is the next part to the video where we learned about Tower of Hanoi. Today we will study another example for the same concept. I hope you have not forgotten the concept, but just in case, let's go through it again. When you face a big task, it helps if you break the task into smaller and easier problems. In the previous class, we studied the famous mathematical puzzle called as Tower of Hanoi to understand how a complex problem can be solved by dividing it into smaller and easier problems. Today, let's try a new example to practice this concept. Ok class, you can see many 10 rupee notes on the screen. Can you add up the value of all these notes? Well, you can count them one by one. But let's try a smart way. After all, aren't you smart kids? I know you are. Well, counting all these notes is our big task. And what do we do when we face a big task? You got it right. We divide the big task into smaller and easier tasks. Let's start by adding two 10 rupee notes first that you see on the left hand side in the red box. What is 10 plus 10? That's right, is 20. Thus, we have solved our small problem. But wait, just like the two 10 rupee notes on the left, won't the two 10 rupee notes on the right be added to rupees 22? That's correct. Now you have two red boxes of rupees 20 each. Now let's add them. What is 20 plus 20? That is right it is 40. So, all the four nodes add up to rupees 40. Similarly, the next four 10 rupee nodes can be added to rupees 42. Class, let's repeat what we did before. Let's add two sets of rupees 40 each. What is 40 plus 40? That's right again, it is 80. Therefore, you have added the first 8 notes to rupees 80. Can you see the same set of 8 notes below too? You got it right. So now, all you have to do is add 80 plus 80. Class, what is 80 plus 80? That is right, it is 160. Hooray! Congratulations! You did it again. You counted the value of all notes. The total sum is 160. So kids, what did we learn today? We had many 10 rupee notes on the screen and we had to sum value of all of them. It was our big task and to solve it, we divided our big task into smaller and easier problems. Thus, we started counting the value of two notes and repeated it till we had counted the value of all the notes on the screen. Isn't it easy? I encourage you to try this at home too. Thank you class. I hope you have a good day.